Coin Traders, what's going on? Thanks for joining me for the show. Looking at Zeta Chain Z E T A on that ticker. Now, a pretty new project did just have the release of it back at the start of February. So big pump, slight pullback, and then a huge rally. And then ever since, had a little bit of a taper off with a lot of decreasing volume. Obviously, the crypto space flush and pullback here hit Zeta Chain pretty hard, especially after already having a pretty substantial pullback here. So if we go ahead and look at the weekly for starters, a lot of things to actually be looking at on the weekly. One of the things I do want to start with is from the bottom after the launch on a lot of the exchanges up to the current trend high, or excuse me, the all-time high right now for Zeta Chain Z E T A 28795. And so the thing about this on Fibonacci, several levels. First, the 38.2. So just look how we had defended for a long period of time support across the seven, excuse me, the 38.2 before finally having this very big break, but then finding support on the 50 period EMA as well. And so now when we have this just huge bearish candle pushed prices extremely far down and we actually weren't too far off of the low. So if we actually look at the downside potential for the low, only about 26% from those prices, we did have a rally of about 34%. So the important thing to note right now too about this Zeta chain chart, especially on the weekly, is just the defense of 78.6. So you can see big, long, lower shadow, and then we had a, a few of these wicks that did push down below the 78.6. A lot of buying, though, to actually defense. So we had a month, basically a month with four weeks so far, and obviously the current candle is only about halfway through closing. And so we did have three weeks of inside bar trading. So right now to have this very nice bullish upside wick for this candle, very good sign, and obviously now we are getting a little bit more of that upside pressure, especially in the shorter term charts, like we will talk about here shortly. But so yeah, the big thing here to note with Zeta Chain is just the overall taper off in the longer term volume. Obviously, we had big volume coming in on this huge sell off, which we expect to see, but little follow through after that. So little volume. So for example, on this weekly candle, 5.821 million, and then on the bearish candle that just closed a few days ago, 5.941 million. Now, compare that to the bullish candle that we're looking at 11.109. And then even on the current week so far, we're looking at 8.979. So a lot more volume coming in for these two bullish candles so far on the weekly than what we have seen for sell pressure most of the time, obviously skipping out on the fact that we had this big bearish pressure that kind of correlated and aligned with the rest of the market. So interesting to think what would have happened had the markets not just completely flushed because overall, a lot of analysis is saying that this was forming a bull flag, especially after finding support on the 50, as well as longer term support coming in at 38.2. But nonetheless, I digress. And here we are for Zeta Chain. Still a lot of potential for the upside. Did personally make a new entry just above the 1.12 mark. So playing it as a swing trade right now, but we'll decide whether or not to hold it as a longer term hold for this crypto cycle or whether or not to take some gains. Probably will take some gains, reduce the risk, and then hold the rest for the long term for this crypto cycle. But so if we actually look to where we had previous levels of support, the 38.2, for example, we're looking at prices right now at 135 up to that level, which would be just over the $2 level for about a 50% gain to the upside. Now, that will just be the first step because obviously bulls have a lot of work to actually recover all of the downside sell off action. And Zeta Chain was kind of one of the ones that got hit the hardest, obviously coming off of a rally and then experiencing a flush on top that led Zeta Chain to be down almost 70%, about 68.46 so far. And so even pulling up technicals, you can see that this chart's just so new, we don't even have any data just yet for it on the weekly. But yeah, so one of the big things about pulling back to 78.2 and defending it for crypto is that typically we don't see any run to set a new trend high anytime soon in the short term future. So realistically, just like we talked about, going to be looking up at the 38.2, kind of right around that $2 level. But ultimately, we are going to expect putting in several lower highs. And so really, the kicker and test now is just going to be pulling up to some of these levels, pulling back and then setting a new higher low, thereby changing the trend on some of these longer term charts like the weekly for a Zeta. Now, you can see this chart is still so new as well that we haven't even formed pretty much anything longer than a few bars worth of 12 period EMA on this weekly. So not necessarily much data there. So we are going to drop down to some of the shorter term charts right now and specifically do want to look at the 12 period EMA. Obviously, just like we said, no 50 period EMA data just yet. 
And so the candle that closed just closed below this EMA support. Big upside wick, which was pretty much right now the size and magnitude for the upside wick is what we see for the close of this body. Actually, wick slightly greater, but we also have a very nice downside shadow showing a lot of dip buying, which we'll get into on the daily. Now, looking left previously, big point of resistance and rejection in between the 12 and 26. But so price levels as well, big zone of resistance here found right off of the launch for a lot of these exchanges. And effectively, we're looking at a big point. If we look all the way left, big point where the price rejected, but then also where we saw a closing level of resistance as well. So a very wide zone from 168 to 114. So price percentage wise to the upside of a gap 25%. But if we actually look at the significance of this, we're looking at big point of support after rejection and then also resistance. And then we found it as resistance along with this exponential moving average band, which was right when we got this bearish cross for Zeta. So in this overall zone, very big point of support and resistance specifically, though. But right now, kind of the great thing, if we do, for example, look over here on the left side, then we can look at the price level of support that was coming in because it did come in right at 12795. Now, the next point of resistance on this two day chart that we were looking at was 131, which the current two day candle actually broke bullish above despite closing below this 12 period EMA. So being able to find our low, run up, establish resistance, set that high, and then pull back and establish a very nice support point pretty much coming in right along the 110 level. And then now rallying up to set a new trend high as well as breaking above this closing level of resistance has been a pretty bullish sign right now for Zeta. Along with kind of what we talked about, about all this bullish volume now coming in off of the lows. So we're seeing a lot more bullish volume coming in compared to the potential sell pressure. And so especially after retracing back so significantly for the 78.2% retracement on Fibonacci. And now as well, like we talked about this being a new chart, but if we do pull up technical indicators, the RSI relative strength index, you can go see that the lowest RSI got to 31, which was just right off the 30 line. So not necessarily a full oversold condition based on a close, but with the wick down as low as it did get, we can pretty much assume that the RSI did get below in that instance. And especially looking at the stochastic RSI running right along the bottom before getting this nice bullish cross. So although we've still been kind of more or less sideways for the last week and a half, we're still seeing now a lot more upside pressure, especially as we do notice the chart changing on the longer term charts here. So we are starting to get more of that trend on the longer term structure. And so especially with decreased sell pressure and a lot more of this bullish volume coming in, we are still expecting a lot more upside move, breaking above this 12 period EMA, breaking above the 26, and then finally testing this point of resistance at 168. And then above that, the price level resistance is going to be coming in at about 183. So lots of resistance to still be looking for and obviously still have this very big downtrend line in effect, but we are looking to be breaking that soon. And once we do break that, that will put us in a very nice scenario and setup to actually be smashing through this exponential moving average bands. Just because, like we said, once we got this bearish cross and confirmed it as a point of resistance, we actually didn't see any more upside motion, especially after rejecting from it on the candle that started on the 8th of April. Okay, so now in addition to that, we actually have a pretty big downtrend resistance line that we have been getting stuck up at ever since we did launch. So big point of resistance, 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 resistance. So now, even if we do break above the 12 period EMA and the 26, and then also next to get above a lot of these price level resistance lines right at 168, leading all the way up to about 183. And then finally from there, all the way up to about 210 before hitting the upside resistance point at about 220. So a lot of upside resistance up overhead. So we know that especially given the amount of pullback that we saw on the Fibonacci retracement, that's kind of another reason why we know that when we do retrace to that much of a level, we're not necessarily expecting just a complete rally and a new break of all time highs here soon. Although that's not necessarily impossible, that's not the most likely and expected scenario here. So we do need to see a little bit more time here, especially establishing a lot of this chart trend now in favor of the bulls. But what we've seen so far is extremely good. Just like kind of looking at the body of this bullish candle, for example, that just closed, we essentially engulf almost all of these three bearish candles that it took three days to pull back 
So to see one two-day candle completely engulf three days, or excuse me, three candles worth of pullback in this instance is pretty much one of the signs and signals that we want to start seeing, especially if on this current forming now candle, bullish candle, we get a lot more of that volume. Ideally, what we would love to see is actually putting in a new higher high on the two day compared to what we saw since we did have this big upper wick selling. So for example, this wick on the downside was about 12% and to the upside, we were looking at about 13 and a half. So plenty of room to grow without actually being in a new higher high on the two day. So likely we would still be looking at an inside bar formation on the current candle that's forming right now. Now, an inside bar wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing, especially if we do break and form a close on the body above this 12 period EMA. If that can happen, then the follow on candle would have an opportunity or even the follow on candle after that. But the point is, is that we would be starting to change the trend from seeing a lot of these bearish resistive signs to now being more in favor of showing that sign of strength, which does lead to a longer term growth, especially after breaking through a lot of these resistance points. Now, one of the things that's so good right now about this shorter term setup, especially since we have pulled back and found our trend low on the 12th of April candle, is that we're actually seeing higher highs and higher lows, not only for the price, but we're also seeing higher highs and higher lows for the close of these candles. So for example, right now, we saw our low of the close, ran up, found a high, pulled back, set a higher low on the close, and then now just found a higher high on the close. Additionally to that, we found our price low, higher high, higher low, and then now higher high. So to form this type of trend with higher highs and higher lows on both the actual trend itself, but then also the close, shows a lot of good strength, especially when we do have continuation and follow through after seeing very nice bullish upside volume bars. Now, overall, you could say this still is pretty much a sideways type looking chart, and that's not necessarily not true, but one of the things about it is a lot of indecision to the upside and the downside, which is kind of why a lot of these upper wicks are about the same magnitude as a lot of these lower shadows. However, the good thing is that we have found a very nice amount, especially defending a very nice price point of a lot of downside support, which time and time again for three candles, has actually maintained a very nice level of price support coming in just below the 111 mark. Now, so at this point, we wanna switch over into the daily and we're getting a lot more signals on the daily just based on the time frame of this chart. So actually getting a 50 period EMA, which you can see has been pretty relevant, especially on this big test here before we started the, slut, the, slut, the flush at the start of April before bear flag pullback and then now, looking like we have started to break bearish from this bear flag, but then now found hard, nice, good bullish signs. So now this is the first time in about a month that we've actually seen the bullish candle here actually close above the 12 period EMA, because for the longest time, for about a week, we actually saw that we were going to get prices above this 12 period EMA, but did get very big resistance and rejection coming off this 12 period EMA especially after it was confirmed and tested back here on the 9th of April and did reject pretty heavily from that EMA as well. So prior to that was kind of the end of March. And this is also where we did confirm a lot of resistance on these EMAs before finding this flush and reestablishing the 12 period as this big point of resistance. So as such, since it has been about a month since we have seen prices close on top of 12 period EMA, the current candle, despite being a pretty indecisive spinning top here, is actually still extremely good and bullish just based on how this candle closed on top of this 12 period EMA. And it's not like this was some sort of fluke where we barely technically closed above it. We actually substantially closed below above it. So the close was 135.81 versus the 12 period EMA being at 12693. Now, I do want to segue really quick over here into coin market cap and talk about it because we're currently sitting at rank number 173 and if you have been following me over here on Twitter or X at coin underscore trades is the handle definitely drop me a follow if you're not just yet because I do talk a lot about Zeta and a lot of other cryptos. But yeah, I do call Zeta Chain one of my favorite low out of the top 100 altcoin picks for lower market cap. So right now sitting just under 360 million, I think this has at least a 10X potential in it for this cycle, especially since I'm a strong believer that the future is multi-chain. So to have the interoperability capabilities of Zeta Chain, I think it's gonna be extremely essential and be one of those things that does start to 
take up and uh, get some hype and a little bit of momentum growing here. So I think a 10x for Zeta Chain is, is easily doable for the cycle. Obviously not financial advice, but that would still only put us at about a 3.5, 3.6 billion dollar market cap, which uh, who knows where that will actually set it for the rankings here. But uh, yeah, definitely based on the potential as well as the market cap and price right now, do think that's possible. Now, with circulating supply only about 12.5% out right now, so still plenty of dilution to occur, but you can be getting about 7% right now, 5 to 6 to 7%, depending on how you stake Zeta. But yeah, so I like the position of this and the potential for what we could actually see out of Zeta based on what it is and kind of what this price chart setup is like. And uh, yeah, just a reminder, obviously not financial advice again, but personally, I am in a long term trade for Zeta as well as a shorter swing trade, which I might actually extend out to a longer term hold. So now back to the daily chart for daily chart for Zeta looking at Technicals RSI first did get down to a low of 21.14, so very, very low on this flush. But just like we said, huge pullback, so not necessarily that abnormal to see the RSI that low. And even on stochastic RSI, looking at a low of zero and 2.11 before forming this cross, so a lot of upside pressure from there. So could start to see a lot more of that rub off, and that's another reason why we think we are and have found our bottom of support for Zeta Chain coming in. Now, personally, given the setup and pattern, I'm not necessarily expecting a Barton Simpson type pattern and recovery for the price. So I think more or less, we're kind of more along the lines of slowly changing the trend, having these EMAs start to roll up, cross, test this resistance, confirm it as resistance, and then finally punch through it, consolidating above that line before making another run. So I think we are still several weeks at least from rallying up and kind of finding support above this 172 level after breaking it. But obviously anything is possible. I would love to see an immediate smash, obviously, because it's a little bit better of a setup in terms of how we would actually break this versus the strength of a longer term gradual trend change. But obviously everything is going to have to come down to increasing bullish volume, especially since for the longest time, month over month, we've just been seeing decreased volume and buy and sell pressure coming in for Zeta chain here. Now, short term flipping over to the four hour before we wrap up. Very, very nice pattern here because we did have a trend line here that we broke, obviously, and then now pulling back to back test this, especially with the EMAs actually crossing up, hopefully over this trend line would be a very nice point of opportunity to back test, consolidate along this level, and then take off once again, especially because we have broken very nicely and strongly above the 137 level for this four hour chart. In addition to that, volume is key. So very nice increasing bullish volume here coming off of the bottom where we saw a very nice defense just above the 110 level. So a very nice price action move to the upside along with a very nice increase in volume is exactly what we want to see, especially when topping out a lot of the previous resistive points. So now I think one of the levels that we don't want to get down below would be around the 128 level. I don't see this necessarily being something that happens in the near term future anyway, most likely unless the crypto space just completely dumps. But so we should be able to find a little bit more longer term support on top of this level. So overall signs are stacking up for Zeta chain to have a bottom already being established and a lot more price potential and upside moves here. But uh, yeah, as always, make sure you do stay tuned so you can stay updated on Zeta. And with that, that actually is going to go ahead and wrap up the show for Zeta chain, Z-E-T-A on that ticker. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you have not done so just yet. Both are free to do. It's also free to drop me a comment down in the section below, so make sure you do that as well. Do love getting back to each and every one of you. And don't forget to drop me a follow over on Twitter or X at coin underscore trades. Well, that is going to do it for now, though, so appreciate all the continued love and support. It does mean so much. Stay safe, take care, coin traders, and I'll catch you back in the next video.